Hi folks, my name is Mitch. Just doing another video on a game that I'm currently playing called Harvest Town. Please keep in mind that this game is currently in beta, so anything mentioned here may or may not change in the future. Today I'm going to be talking about animals and the poultry house and the barn. Just giving a quick few tips in terms of what to do with them, how to keep them happy, and how to keep them producing uh, the products that you're going to need to use. So as of right now, I have two barns and two poultry houses um, situated in an area in my farmland. I like the setup. I'm not going to have a third one just because I don't think I need one at this time. Maybe later on in the future, I might incorporate the other barn and the other poultry house onto the side over here. But that's just going to be something that I will plan out in the future. Uh, so what I have going on here is that these barns and these poultry houses, the doors are going to be open all the time. I don't have to worry about them escaping or anything or being lost when it turns dark uh, just because the entire area is fenced in. They can't leave the area. Nothing else can get in. I don't have to worry about any um, wildlife uh, coming in and snatching up my chickens or whatever. Um, and, as, as, and as of right now, the animals in this game they don't die um, if you don't feed them at all they the main thing is that they, they just don't produce so if you're looking to get milk or eggs or whatever um, and if you don't have any food for them then you're not going to get anything from them so food can be obtained through two different ways you have the forage that you can buy at the shop you just plant them they take one day to grow you don't have to dig any holes in the ground or whatever. You don't have to water them. Uh, and the animals, all the animals will eat this and they'll be happy. They eat up to three times a day and that's, that's when they will indicate when they're full. So each animal will have three feeds or three forages. Um, so keep that in mind depending on how much animals you have. So they also will not go outside if it's raining or snowing. So you're gonna need to eventually produce some type of feed. I have the poultry feed here and also livestock feed. And what you can do is when you go inside the place where they rest, you can line them up in the back or you can throw them into the automatic feeder once this gets built uh, when you upgrade your barn or your poultry house. So the initial level um, that you get for the for the barn and also the poultry house is uh, level one. You can hold up to four animals in there. Uh, recommendation is just to start off with four chickens and four cows. Once you upgrade it to the next level then do four goats and then also four ducks <clears throat> um, you don't need too many peacocks just because peacock feathers are not commonly used for a lot of things in uh, when you're leveling up <clears throat> the duck eggs are probably going to be something that's used um, often same thing with the goose eggs and also the chicken eggs uh, i would not recommend getting investing in pigs just because pigs they have a small possibility of producing uh, coal, but other than that, then they're mainly there just to be raised and and then just to be sold. Uh, but there's a lot of different ways to gain uh, money out of this game, um, aside from raising livestock. So that's pretty much it. Again, just to reiterate, keep your area where you have your animals enclosed, you know, fenced in. Uh, lay, lay down the forage for them to eat. You can buy this every day. Uh, I did it in an area where this is about three sets, three um, full bags of forage. So then this way it's kind of a no-brainer. Uh, once this forage runs out, buy another, another three sets and so on and so forth. It's very easy I don't have to calculate anything and I don't have any, I don't have to worry about anything being left over. Uh, so yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. 
And if you are interested in watching more videos, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care.